Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Philip Ko, an early childhood educator who thoroughly enjoys teaching and learning through play. I produce videos every week to help students, teachers, parents, grandparents, even domestic helpers to be better facilitators in children's learning. If you are new to this channel, do consider hitting the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. It will really help me grow this channel. Today's video is all about how to teach row counting and rational counting to young children. By the end of the video, you will know three tips about counting. One, the importance of counting and developing a good number sense in children. Two, how children learn rote counting and rational counting. And two tips on how to play games on rote counting and rational counting. So, if you are ready, let's jump straight into it. Why is counting important? Counting is important because it helps children develop a good number sense to solve problems confidently. When children are confident at solving problems, they will develop a love for math to build a strong foundation for mathematical understanding. Having the confidence and flexibility to solve mathematical problems are important 21st century skills and we should try our best to nurture these skills in our young children as early as possible. What does it mean to have a good number sense? Having a good number sense means to understand that numbers are connected in various integrated relationships. A child with a good number sense will understand that five fingers represent the quantity of five. The picture of five oranges can also represent the quantity of five. The numeral five, which can look pretty abstract to young children, is also called five. Children with good number sense will know that all these representations, although they are different, they are all related in one way or another, representing various meanings of five. As children develop a stronger number sense, they will also start to understand that 5 is 1 more than 4, 5 is 1 less than 6, and various numbers when combined together can also make 5. For example, 2 and 3 can be combined to make 5. This is a very important milestone in mathematical understanding because children will begin to learn the concept of addition and subtraction. How do children learn counting? When young children start to learn counting, they tend to skip count or double count. Using my fingers, an example of skip counting is 1, 2, 3. An example of double counting is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Skip counting and double counting are common problems that children will exhibit when they start to learn counting. The main reason is because they have yet to understand that there are rules in counting that they have to follow. There are two important rules that children need to know in counting, namely the stable order rule and the principle of one-to-one -one correspondence. Children have to learn that they have to count in a stable order sequence. Example, one, two, three, four, five, and not one, three, four, five. And that each count must correspond to one item that is being counted. This is called the principle of one-to-one -one correspondence. How can we help children to improve their counting? Children need lots of practice in counting. An effective way is to play games with them. I'm going to share two counting games with you just by using common items that we can find at home or in school. One on road counting and the second game on counting in one-to-one -one correspondence. 
The first game is to help children learn road counting. To play the game, first gather some items that you can find at home or in school and put them in a basket. For this game, I have collected a giraffe, a ball, an airplane, and a bus. Players will take turns to play the game. The first player will pick an item from the basket. In order to keep the item, she has to roll count 1 to 5, just like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The game will go on until all the items are picked. This is a fun and simple game to help children master the rules of counting confidently. Remember to be playful and patient as you play the game with the child. Your disposition will definitely motivate the child to engage in purposeful play. In no time, she will be able to roll count confidently from one to five. The second game is to help children learn to count in one-to-one -one correspondence just by using our fingers and any item that has two sides. Example, the lead of a can. On one side of the lead, draw a smiling face. To start the game, players will take turns to throw the lead. If the smiling face is facing upwards, players get to count the fingers in her hand in one-to-one -one correspondence up to five, just like this. One, two, three, four, five. If the smiling face is facing downwards, player misses a turn and the next player will continue. This game is simple and easy to play. There is no winner or loser, just pure joy of becoming better at rational counting just by using our fingers. Counting can be fun and enjoyable. Try playing the games with your children and let me know how is the experience by sharing your thoughts in the comment below. In the next few weeks, I hope to produce more videos related to teaching numeracy to young children. Do consider subscribing to my channel and hit the notification button so that you can be updated when I post the next video. Well, thanks for watching and I will see you soon.